Another podcast, episode 27. We've done this 27 times. We've got Ben here today. You might have heard us say the name Ben a few times during the podcast. Anytime we're talking shitty about someone, it's probably Ben. Probably that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> happens. <laughs> We discovered on an episode uh, previously that Nick, I think, is just slightly taller than you. Nah, it's not possible. How tall are you? I'm f- almost 5'7". He's almost 5'7"? Yeah, he's, he's well shorter than me, I promise. I just have never, ever like told him that. But you can ask Max. W- you can when ask- you're oh. hanging out around his wife, do you look up or down? Down. Okay, so you're both taller than Serena, which I believe is 5'2", is what Nick said. <laughs> yeah, I'm well. My wife's five three, and I'm taller than her. My wife's five Listen, nine. we were childhood friends, so this tall thing, how tall you are, it it matters. Yeah, to well, us. I've known Ben for so long. At one point, he was taller than me. Yeah, I'm not saying something. So you're five seven, Ben. Yeah, on a good day. I remember whenever you were telling everybody that you wanted to play basketball for KU. Yeah, dude. That was, I think that's in my yearbook, bro. Because I was thinking I was going to hit some growth spurt and continue to play basketball. I was like, I had, I had the hops for it, but <laughs> did not uh, uh, fan out at all. Uh, I just remember you saying that and me going, hmm. No. God bless you, Ben. But you were supportive. What was bless that? your heart. What was bless that your heart, ben. Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues was actually 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five, three. He, he made the and NBA. And then I was a huge Steve Nash fan, but then... I looked up Steve Nash's height and realized he's actually 6'3". Just everybody he Steve was Nash is 6'3"? Yeah, dude. Look, Steph Curry, look at the height But isn't of, that short for the NBA? It is. I guess, yeah. Any, like, 6 foot is short for the NBA. It's tall. 6'3 is tall for the NFL. Mm. But, yeah, if you just look at all the people like Amari um, and Amari Stoudemire? Amar- uh, he was, remember Stoudemire for the Suns? No. Well, <laughs> you shook your head like, yes. <laughs> and no. <laughs> I doubt. No, uh, but yeah, he, those guys were like seven feet tall, so it made him look like he was like five foot six. Mm. But mm. he was my favorite point guard watching growing up, and I wanted to be like him, and then I realized he's six foot three, and I was like, that's not going to happen. And I'm not Canadian. So, Have you been, do so you, short kings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you been keeping up with, uh, do you keep up with the NBA at all, Donnie? Sports ball? Oh, which which. Which ball game is that? That's the one where they <laughs> dribble <laughs> and shoot into a basket. I, I no, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, season. okay, okay. Yeah, I, I do, I do have deep respect for the great players of the game: LeBron, Jordan. Yeah. And then, as I always joke around with my roommate, I'm like, "Yeah, Larry Bird, he was the best." Because <laughs> my roommate is uh, an African American fellow. And no, he doesn't think Larry Bird is the best. But clearly, he's not better than Jordan or LeBron, no. like at all. But I'm always like, yeah, he's Bird, yeah, Larry Bird. <laughs> Larry Bird, Larry Bird was the <laughs> best <laughs> trash talker, <laughs> and he could back it up. Literally, Larry Bird could yeah, play with his left with hand yeah. and school you and back it up. But some of that Larry Bird for Bird footage is amazing. Mm, like, yeah. I mean, just like I mean, he's not better than clearly than like Jordan or right. LeBron in, or in the eighties, he was one of the best for sure. That's so cool. Yep. But so. The, uh... What have you? Uh, what what have we're you had? Gonna keep talking about the thunder and the sports. Oh yeah, sure, thunder. <laughs> Anyways, we're do, we're doing pretty good this year. Yeah. yeah, we're number one in the Western Conference. Oh, that's good. So. Yeah, uh, go, go us. Yeah, yeah, we're actually we won our first uh, series last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they swept the who did we play? I the Pelicans. The Pelicans, yeah. The Dude, New Orleans Pelicans. A Pelican would get totally destroyed by thunder. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So yeah. they even have bad names. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet their uniforms are dumb, too. I don't think that they will. I, mm, <laughs> don't pelicans live by the sea, like, where there's hurricanes and stuff? Yeah, but, like, a full-ass thunder versus a pelican? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think a lot of things would uh, survive uh, some thunder, bud. Unless you're a warrior. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> What have you had going on, Ben? Yeah, how's your week? How's your week? How's your life? My week, my life, currently, oh, man, I have a 10-year-old. Yep. My son is 10 years old. Yep. Have a, that is wild. That is. But he's almost as tall as you? Yeah, he's, he's only four foot, I'm like four, four foot 10, mm-hmm. and he's 10 years old. He'll be easily taller than me by the time he's 12, because like the average... 12 year old is my height nowadays. So, <laughs> like, something happened in the 2000s where, like, oh, let's spawn giants after anything after 2007. <laughs> That's because we're feeding them better, I guess. Uh, dude, some, feeding them better or whatever they feeding put in them that worse. process. It's yeah. the chicken. 
Something. The chickens get huge, so do the well, people. It's nice to know that I spawn giants. So, uh, but no, yeah, he's his the he went to the doctor recently and did his checkup and like his height, he's supposed to be around like six foot three, like he's on mm. par to be that high. trajectory. Ch- a trajectory tra- of six point three inches. Yeah. Six point three inches. <laughs> you little guy. <laughs> Real small. Six foot, Half a foot. Six he's actually going to join inches. the other bar. Where he's, <laughs> 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 he's drinking. How have you not accidentally stepped on him? If he's if he's six point three project. inches. He's like, man, <laughs> dad. <laughs> no, I do feel like Can I'm drinking. Can you give me some V bucks? I want to play Fortnite. No, literally, literally what he asked me like two, day, <laughs> two days ago, he asked me that on Sunday. He was like, Sunday morning, like after breakfast, he was like, hey, dad, if uh, I have a good week, can I have some V-Bucks? And I go, yeah, if you have a good week. Because he didn't have <laughs> he had a bad week last week. Didn't pan out. Well, he had one bad day, but it was like, you got in-school suspension. So I was like, eh, it's all right. But I didn't, he, didn't, he got Wait, play. in-school suspension? I got that one time my dad would tan my hide. Dude. Them, it's more constructive. It's not you go yeah. sit in a room and pray about it. Yeah. Like we were told to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll talk to God for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap for 30 minutes. <laughs> Whenever you would get detention, would the teachers call your parents? Uh, y- yeah. And what would your parents do? Uh, it didn't happen often, but when it did, my parents would be like, Hey, Donnie, uh, we got a call from uh, Ms. Strelo today. And I was like, yeah, and? (laughs) (laughs) Barely you had to pray? And they're like, listen, we know you're not wrong. Just stop making her call us. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, though. Like, we know you didn't really do much, but whatever it is that you're doing that makes her call us, for us... Just, just, for just stop. <laughs> it's not about it's not about who's right and who's wrong here. It's just about we don't like getting called by her because she's annoying. <laughs> no, it, it my lo- parents were full on my side about everything that ever happened at Cornerstone, but it was also like, can you just get her to stop? <laughs> can you just get her? To stop? <laughs> I remember one time when I was a kid, we were uh, it's whenever we went to Destiny Church. Oh. And, and there was some kind of like uh, yeah. Hallelujah weekend or whatever they would call. It. What, what would they call it? Whenever yeah, Church of the Mood, they called it Hallelujah Night. No, 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 no. It was but like a, a Destiny. They a conference it. for kids. Oh. Yeah. Well, what was what were those called? You remember? Uh, oh, uh, your Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School. Okay, yeah, we're sure back. Because uh, yeah, Donnie had to pause because yeah. I had to take out my gum. I forgot I was chewing gum. Okay, now we have to pause again because yeah, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> 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 Anyways, Vacation Bible School. Yeah. There's this one weekend of Vacation Bible School where somebody we knew mm-hmm. was dressed up in a dog suit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went up to you and I was like, hey, Donnie, I'm going to mm-hmm. go knee this dog in the butt. It'll be so funny. Oh, and yeah. And so I did. And the dog reacted, you know, humor's like, or whatever. Yeah. But then the tail fell off of the costume. Okay. And I remember uh, getting you, you, I remember you specifically getting in trouble for this pretty big. Uh, so Mr. B- our, our pastor, our youth pastor came up to me. He was like, hey, Jared, come here. Mm-hmm. I go, okay. I said, that's what you just did? Not okay. I'm going to have to call your mom. I was like, all right, call my mom. And yeah. so he calls my mom and, uh, you know, they have a conversation I can't hear. He said, fills her in. And then he gives me a hug. He's like, sorry, bud. You know, we just can't tolerate that kind of stuff. And I'm just thinking, yeah. okay, all right, sorry. Won't knee a dog in the butt any, or a costume dog in the butt anymore. Yeah. And so I get in the car. She picks me up that day. And she goes, Jared, did you uh, knee a dog in the butt? Yeah. I go, yeah, it was my buddy, Joel. Yeah. And she goes, oh, okay. I don't know why he called me about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't a yeah, big yeah, deal yeah. in her mind. But the youth pastor was like, I'm going to get Jared. Yeah. I'm going to call his mom. Oh, yeah. And my mom was totally cool with it. No, I totally understand that. But also from somebody who deals with children like all day. Yeah. I understand the other side of it too is like I had a kid in one of my guitar classes like call his guitar Mama Sita and then start making love to it. <laughs> what? And I was like, listen, we at least take Mama Sita out to dinner. <laughs> Wine and diner, baby. <laughs> like so I get it. It's shaped like this. What do you mean he But would, like we can't. <laughs> Start making love to you it. What do you mean? You can't, you, you can't hump the guitar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like not in front of all he the other kids. He started stroking her chords, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you have to. We 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 tune Mamacita. We we play Mamacita. We don't. He was uh, humping the guitar in class. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. 
He, he, I looked over and, and this kid and he goes, "Oh, Mama Sita!" And then he's holding the guitar and like giving it the business. And Did so you sure that wasn't like the ending of the business when he's saying, "Oh, Mama Sita." No, you, we, we caught him soon enough. To <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But it was like I had to go to the principal and be like, "Hey, this kid here. This kid here. Yeah, uh, I get the shape." Like the guitar is shaped kind of, but it has a similar Coke bottle style. How did you not the like, hip to waist ratio on an acoustic guitar is pretty nice, but did you have to hold back laughter or were you just in oh the definitely moment? yeah 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 like I was like you can't it's do not that. funny it's not funny it's that not he's funny. doing this it's not okay <laughs> don't encourage him yeah but he lost his guitar privileges unfortunately mm, it's too bad. Mama Sita is not no longer with him. That sucks. Sounds like he was enjoying it. Anytime I got attention, I was just... They called my parents. My parents were like, all right, keep him there. Mm. They're like... Whether it was my fault or not, they're like, "Uh, it's... Probably he probably had something to do with it, and he'll learn a lesson from this. <laughs> It'll be like free babysitting, yeah. <laughs> free babysitting, right? Yeah, I still free childcare. <laughs> oh, he needs to stay later. <laughs> Sweet, Your mom's like, all day. great. <laughs> down, at the, down at the happy hour. <laughs> yeah. I got I got detention on our first day of senior year of high school. Remember, I came in with my mullet, and, and they gave, they you, gave detention you detention for that for a mullet. The way no, I got attention for the way I talked to Mrs. Grove. Oh, what did you we say? We should all have gotten detention for that. Well, I walked into walked into biology class. That was that was the one where we all had to take. It was like first hour or whatever, mm, yeah. and I had long hair. And I was we were talking about it. And I think I honestly think you, you're you're the one who said you should shave it into a mullet. And I was like, sure. I was like, why not? And, yeah. And then I literally have pictures of it. My mom did it. I had the mullet and everything. Yeah. And I came in and I was wearing my bright blue like Ku hoodie. I remember I had like my hoodie up, yeah. my hood up. And yeah. Mrs. Girl, like I walk into her class and she's like. Mr. Filer, take your hood off. And I was like, are you sure about that? And she was like, <laughs> yes. Like, you know, Mr. Gross. Oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, are I, t- you sure I, I took it that? off and Diane just goes, it's a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes, go to, go to the office. She sent you to the office uh, over the hand. Dude, she sent me. Yeah, For having a mullet? At Cornerstone, yeah. Huh. It was, I think it was, it was probably it was, because it was, it was dress code. distracting. It, it, that yeah. was definitely was, but it was like they they gave me detention because of my attitude. It's not fair. My attitude was disrespectful to Mrs. Grove. That's mm. what I, that's what Miss Hearn. Mrs. Mrs. Grove was openly disrespectful to us, oh, dude, <laughs> all I, the time. I will never <laughs> like all the time. Yeah, I thought we were like you know buddies. Like you know, I thought it was. I thought yeah, I thought it was like other. a good jive. Yeah, it was but like, you know. now nowadays, I learned later. I. Th- Think that it was a bad jive. I think yeah. she was just literally didn't like us. Yeah. No, she pff, think you think so. You think no, she, she liked us. Yeah, yeah, she loved us. Because I'm gonna say at our high school or what, what was it like our six year six year high school reunion? We didn't have a five or a ten. Uh, no, I, I only remember going to one and Mrs. Grove was there. Yes, and so. you know who she walked up to. How about you? Us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, hey, 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 boys. <laughs> oh, there's oh, those there, boys. There, there. You know. <laughs> so that confirmed it. I was mm. like, oh, so we were buddies. Nice. Yeah. Why'd you send me to detention all these yeah, times? Why are you always <laughs> locking me up in the... <laughs> that's not a funny joke. No, yeah, okay, dude. but it's kind of a funny joke. <laughs> if you had the ability to be like, yeah, nah, you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it would. Uh, if, I, if there's a button that I can press and it does things like that to people, you think I'm not going to press it? <laughs> uh, dude, just the, the amount of times where, like, me... Josh Beck and James Heffer would get in fake fights in the men's bathroom and the teacher like so you'd have to make the female teachers like come in there no way oh yeah and then we would all act like we're going no. to the bathroom and embarrass them. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You're like I'm not kidding. Like, you make fight noises. Like oh, oh yeah, dude. Oh, there'll be there like we had pictures of it even too. That like like we, there was a fake picture of like Josh Beck giving me a swirly, mm. and it's like me upside down mm. in the toilet, and like it like and then somebody was like like they followed me into the bathroom and like it was like we it was all ruse and yeah yeah and they're like oh my gosh and like one of the teachers i can't i i it was one of the ones the lunchroom <laughs> like ladies the moms that was probably like on duty for the lunch that day and she like came in there and I think they were in the toilets and I was at the urinal just like you boys gotta stop it no she like fully like, came in there like to stop it like she like fully like, came in to like stop a fight and, like it was like she rushed in there and it was like they were just sitting on the toilets but it was great yeah that's great, dude. Very embarrassing. <laughs> Mr. Trailer, Mr. Trailer, I'm so glad you're here. Mr. Trailer, 
I need no, to- no more toilet paper. Can you please? <laughs> can you hand me? The, can you hand me the? I got a. I really. I got a problem in here. I need. Yeah. I'm stuck. It's like, it's like those videos. Have you seen those videos? The the parents were like having their like little kid come and bringing them uh, toilet paper, and they go to reach for the toilet paper, and then like they they rub like chocolate on them, but thinking it's poo. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh that sounds God, like a, that sounds like a Tony Witter joke. Oh no, dude, it is like it's hilarious, man. Like I, I'm like I cannot wait to do it when me. And my wife have kids. Like I uh. want, I want that like so bad. Because it's like, dude. One time, my okay. This is so disgusting. All right, this is just absolutely filthy. I'm sorry, okay. internet. No, you're not. I was like four or five. I was still young enough that I had to go to the bathroom with my dad. Okay, that's fair. My dad did this to me. <laughs> oh man, he's in the stall. He's having to take a a, a dump. <laughs> and he goes and he wipes his ass. He goes, hey, do you want some chocolate ice cream? And I was oh like, oh my god! <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, that sounds awesome. <laughs> and he shows me his shit on the. Here you go. I was like, no, <laughs> no, that's not chocolate ice. Dad, that's dude. awful. You betrayed me. Why are you betraying me? <laughs> it's not funny. It's disgusting. But you're laughing because it's kind of funny. Little me being like, yeah, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how things turn out, you know. He does that to you, and then twenty years later, you're talking about it on a podcast. I know. I've got him back. The whole <laughs> internet's like, Dad, you want some chocolate ice cream? <laughs> Here's a scoop full. <laughs> Social security. Wa- got the waffle cone. Social, 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 Social services. So many shit jokes up to his on house. this podcast. There's so many shit jokes. <laughs> what we talk about is our poop. <laughs> so good. Everybody does it. Mm. Everybody poops. There's a book about it. Yeah, there is. I read it. I did. Times. I had I had the uh, companion book, uh, the story of farts by Shinta Cho. Yeah. And when my mom would have like high class company oh, over, I'd put it in the bathroom <laughs> and just get this out of here. You he would? <laughs> yeah. It had these little naked Japanese people like farting in the bathtub, <laughs> like a picture of this little. How old were you when you did when you would dude, do this? Any t- yeah, oh I'd do it every God. time. Like I had it in my room, and then I'd bring it out and put it in the bathroom. Like it was like, come look at this book. <laughs> you had high class people coming over. <laughs> yeah. yeah you be like, like some <laughs> like ladies Bible study. I'd be like, <laughs> bring the fart book out. Nancy, why do you have this, this book? Like, oh my son, no. <laughs> Should have never let that build. <laughs> but it says an empty fight in it. Why yeah. it this book is dedicated to all the farts ripped by Nancy <laughs> Fright. should have bought him that book. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't buy it. It was given to us by uh, one of these like rich people. My mom cleaned houses, and this rich guy was like, you can have this book, little guy. Was that Carmen? <laughs> was like, Wasn't it Carmen? No, no. At oh. one point, I think mom, that might have happened. I don't want to make that up, but I think at one point we were cleaning Carmen's house. But uh, yeah, I remember it. That, yeah. that happened because I remember it wasn't Carmen, but it was he this other guy, this oil baron. Oh. And I say oil baron. That sounds oil like a baron. fake thing to say, but a guy who literally made all his money in oil field That's stuff. Oil baron. That's right. I swear, mm. you told me whenever we were kids that, that Carmen gave that me the your fart mom. Book. No, 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 no. That your mom was Carmen cleaning cleaning book. Carmen's house. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just... Did, what was did, one of his songs? So people know... Uh, what Satan Car- Bite the Dust. Satan Bite, bite the Dust. The dust. Um, oh, yeah. no, what's and the other one? Had, uh, 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 where he's singing in the house of the monsters. Uh, it's the monster song. He's like... Hey, no, I'm going to have to oh, look this up on YouTube. What is it called? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the Holy Ghost song. It's, uh, I think man, it's called Holy Ghost. Only evangelical kids wrong. in the Midwest would rem- would but, know who. I mean, Carmen we were was kind of big when we were kids. I bet you a lot Dude, of people. It's Midwest knew Bible Belt stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, if you were in if the you, Christian if you knew community, about gospel, uh, gospel Bill. Yeah. Bible yeah. Man, Super Kids. Dude, I had every Super Kids VHS. Uh, man. Veggie super Tales, kids. like it was all along that, and Carmen yeah. was like on the front edge of that. Well, that's the thing. Like Carmen used to perform at Church on the Move, and. I was such a big fan, especially when Carmen Riot came out. That the, the mm, dual CD you're album. You're on a riot. <laughs> riot. Yes. Remember the films, the dual yeah. VHS films, yeah. and like where he yeah. was like the boxer. Um, it was basically his version of Rocky. But no, mm. he was performing at Church on the Move one time, and it was like, uh, I was we were walking through the lobby, and he was out there like around people, mm-hmm. and my mom turned around and looked, and I wasn't there. Next mm-hmm. thing she looked. Is here I come and I'm pulling Carmen, walking Carmen to my mom. I go, my mom wants to meet you. Mm. <laughs> I just really wanted to meet him, but I, oh, but I yeah. embarrassed my mom. Yeah, <laughs> I got to so meet Carmen. I, 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 dude, I couldn't. I was probably like five or six. Was when he was I had a full-on negative experience with one of my heroes at an early age at Church on the Move. 
Was it um, Nicodemus? Yeah, yeah, the Nicodemus story. Yeah, one what? time. With Ken one, Blunt? Yeah, one time as a little kid, I went up to Kenny Blunt and I was like, hey, Kenny Blunt. Like, like I was like talking to him and he's like, he gave me the cold shoulder in a way and I can't remember what it was, but he was like really, really quite rude to me mm. and then walked away and I was like, I thought that Nicodemus was the coolest character on Gospel Bill. And, and now, now I know he's just... He's now I know he's jerk. an asshole in real life. <laughs> and it really way. did like mess it up for me well, for a little he's bit. he's not that way in real life. He's, he's there was, I don't know. There's don't one know, time where Nicodemus came to uh, the kids' class and uh, Hunter was his like little deputy. Oh, and Hunter they gave Hunter... Yeah. Or Nicodemus gave Hunter the ability to hand out the quiet seat prize... No way. And he just gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, man, the quiet seat prizes. That I oh, the quiet. I used to get quiet seat prizes that I never deserved. I never deserved a quiet seat I prize. Couldn't, yeah, I couldn't. I it so many remember, times. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I, just, I, uh, I just had so many, like, I played favorites. Okay, wait, wait, hang on. People. Let's, let's, let's look, give, give him some context. We all went. Whoops. There you go. It's over. We can keep going. What were you saying? We all went to the same church as <laughs> kids, and we met at this church. We were... Three, four, three and two and three, three and four. We were all absolutely little kids together. And one thing they would do to get a pile of young children to be quiet was that they would incentivize you by giving you a full size candy bar. (laughs) Full size for being. And they and they would only select the quietest of little kids. Right, so like they, we'd have to sit there for an hour, and if we were for like or thirty minutes or forty, however long it's, the message it was, it seemed like forever. Yeah, it felt like an it was eternity. Like Twenty-five but minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if we would be quiet in that time, somebody would come by and select who was the quietest kid. So I remember whenever it was like, it's time to hand out the quiet seat prize, and everybody was like, sit up straight, hands them a lap. <laughs> we were all like, I need you. You got to believe I was like this the whole time. Listen, the trick was it, to make eye contact with them whenever oh, they were yeah, like, Oh, yeah, like, yeah, me? You, you never right give it to them. me. <laughs> I was more of like, I'm like, you know who I am? It would work for me I'm all like, the time. Yeah. I'd sit quiet and just make eye contact. Yeah. Oh, any, my god! Any gosh. youth leader that was a part of Air Force at Church on the Move, thank you for all those quiet seat prizes he that never I didn't deserve. deserved them. No, co- dude, it it kind of reminds me. Always knew. Like, I would sit next to them, and Jake yeah. was probably the quietest person ever. Oh, yeah. And then oh, yeah. I would get a candy bar, and Jake would just be like, so mad. <laughs> oh, man. Life is not fair. He's like, yeah. this guy, what a dick. <laughs> Dude, okay, so the Quiet Seat Prize game seems a lot like the way that you see a catcher playing baseball, how they always, they'll catch... A, a, a ball oh. and then move it in, mm-hmm. like, yep. like as if the is hump it, isn't going to see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely, dude. Oh man, because I was like loud and obnoxious the whole time, and then I was like, "Oh, dude, I was. Oh no, no, no. I was like this the whole time. <laughs> There's <laughs> no way I was quiet the entire time." As if the adults, yeah. Anyways, I, I, I felt like I had an. Uh, I didn't win uh, hardly at all. And I don't think that was because I was particularly loud. I think it was just because I'm a, was an unlucky bastard. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I had the face that made everybody want to give me the quiet seat prize. Same. Maybe it was because I was a red-haired, freckled little kid. And everyone was like, oh, look at that red-haired, freckled little kid. Oh, Do you also remember the Bible Bucks store? store? Like candy bar. The Bible Bucks store? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. At Kids on the Move, the Bible Bucks store was insane. How there was you? actually good stuff in there. I don't remember how we earned Bible Bucks. Um, oh, there's Bible memorization. Yeah, there it was, was like, they, like you could do like yeah, Bible memorization stuff. They they would send you home with like you remember you would always have like the color sheets or not yep. the color sheets, but it would be like a colored piece of paper and it'd have all the different things. And then mm. like literally you could turn it back in and like you could get Bible bucks or something mm. or like at the store. And there was also I'm like not sure I ever did that. game participation. Like mm. hey, who wants to play a game? And then if yeah. you they picked Gosh. you and you went up and participated. They would give you bubble bucks. I won so like, many. Oh, there games. was this currency that was just flowing around for yep. good behavior, basically, is what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in the bubble bucks store, there was some really cool shit. The one thing that I really wanted that I'd never got, maybe I did eventually get my hands on, but there was a balsa wood Star Wars Y Wing. Mm. What? You know how the balsa wood yeah. airplanes that yes. you, they fly super well? You can get them at the hobby yeah. store. They had one that was a Y Wing, and it did fly. Wow, that's awesome! And I do remember, like I can. Oh yeah, it in my and head. I remember it had clay weights. Like you had to weight it because it was weighted weird. So mm-hmm. they were like, "Well, it requires a little bit of clay in this one spot." 
and I could never get that shit right. So I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it looked mine looked awesome, and it took me two seconds to just completely break it. Yeah, you know, I like worked out so hard for these. <laughs> you spend all that time earning yeah. those Bible bucks, and then you play with it for five. It's like minutes those. It's like, like those foam. Oh, yeah. uh, and air, it's gone. It's like and those foam airplanes it. that like you get at the dollar store, and you're like, "Oh, these things are awesome!" And then you throw them, and then they crash, and then they just snap in two. Yes, and it took yeah. me like an eternity of Bible bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like, like I, this good behavior. Like, I could have sa- could have bought anything. Oh, around that time, toys that were awesome. The backpack super soaker. You guys remember that when I that thing that. came out? I, Everyone I, else had to be like <laughs> trying oh, to fill up the you. tank. I, did, and I didn't I was fill like, up my tank this way. I filled up my tank infinity this way. Infinity water, and all you, you had to do was like. The pump thing was just like easy. Like you never <laughs> ran out. You you just keep going until you We had the the quad super soaker where it had the the two here, the two little things yeah. and then the two big tubes in the back. And it went to like oh, a, so you a just two, had water so on water on water. Yeah. Do you remember how dang heavy a super yeah, soaker was saying, when dude, it was full? Like yeah, like, like <laughs> as a kid, it's like it weighed more than I did. And I'm like sitting here like I'd have to like <laughs> stand it up and pump it. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, give I'm gonna me get about you. a minute. And you're gonna get soaked. Like, gonna if get, you were smart, you just it. turn the hose on whoever it was that was pumping their super soaker. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, check this out. <laughs> I got unlimited water. Water balloon fights. You take it takes an hours to fill all the balloons, and then yep. you're like, all right, here we go. Dude, I remember. I remember one time <laughs> yeah, and we're soaked. soaked. <laughs> I was uh, at somebody's birth, one of my friends' birthday parties. I think his name was Joe Uzzle, to be honest. Um, and his mom, uh, her name was Charlotte. She taught me how to tie a water balloon. Because okay. I literally like I was get, I was filling them up for everybody, mm-hmm. and then I was handing them off, and she's like, "Why aren't you tying them?" I was like, "I don't know how to tie them." And she's like, she like showed me like the easiest way, and I was like, "Oh mm. my gosh!" And like ever since then, I've like I always tie water balloons super quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Just random. I get my fingers stuck all the time. Mm. Yeah. You use one or two fingers when you tie it. I don't know. One, it's, I it, guess. Yeah, you go two, loop through. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. Nice life hack. All right, two I'm gonna use one through. of these cards. This Uh-oh. feels like it could be kind of funny to me. Here, so me some of those. I would. No, you don't need them. Would okay. you? Would you rather have <laughs> twice as okay. long of legs or twice as long of arms? Ooh, twice arm. Wait, wait, wait. Say that would again. Would you rather have your legs be twice as long or your arms be twice as long? Um. All right. My, wait, my arms. So you're are asking already? the difference between like. The Star Wars uh, <laughs> cloning. They're called aliens. Cam- Cam- Owens. <laughs> yeah, Cam- yeah. Owens. The, the white ones that are like, yeah. Kenobi, we're not going to sell you drugs today, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or whatever. And then uh, and then say. And then and then and then Lanky Kong. <laughs> Would you rather look like Lanky Kong <laughs> or <laughs> or Cam- Cam- Owen? <laughs> like, just think about the things you could achieve with twice as long of arms. I'm gonna go with the legs. You'd rather just be like. Super, super long duper leg guy. Tall. Yeah, super the duper super tall duper. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick with long arms, man. My arms are already pretty long for my body, so I think I could get used to it. You get the really long arms? I feel like there's a lot of tricks I could play with my arms being super long. Yeah. You know, like you'd be you dragging be, them everywhere. You could be Twice talking to arms means you'd be touching the ground. Right now, yeah. Them. But sure. also, I could Your be like, be I, could be, I could also be touching both of you. Yeah, so you know. Like, Hi, <laughs> fun in yeah. your face. You'd be like talking to Ben, and I could be like touching the back of your shoulder, and you'd be like, what's that? The, oh. This this is what the motion is. You for realize the how your how freaked out you'd well, yeah, be if like, any I'm, of these two people the existed and you saw them. <laughs> you saw a guy literally on stilts, like oh, the guy wears stilts everywhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> Those are his legs. His bro. knees just go out. <laughs> God, dude, three you... feet longer or whatever. So, Jared, how was your week? It was good, Would normal. You... I mean, my my weeks are always like pretty standard. For the most part, unless we have some kind of event going on, we're gonna go see Bert Kreischer. Who? In, no, no, we, uh, we, had, we actually had a really Bert. I said Bert. <laughs> it's like you said Bert. No, we're gonna go see Bert Kreischer. You know who that is? Bert yeah, you, you know who that is. I know is. all about that guy. The pop. He takes the shirt. We're gonna off. go on May seventeenth at the BOK to go see him. And you know what my secret of uh, unachievable goal is gonna be? What? Okay, I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping he has like a meet and greet. Afterwards, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go up to him, be real honest. Hey, Bert, you want to come on our podcast? We get 30 views every single week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but if it'd you be a lot of fun. We'll supply the beer. Yeah, we know we know you like beer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy you as much beer we'll, as you we'll want. We'll get all the beer you want. Yeah, and you come be on our podcast. Yeah. And I feel like if he's 
and you know, maybe a little bit buzz, he may be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, that'd be really funny to be on a nobody's podcast, <laughs> a, no- a nobody's podcast." So, yeah, on um, just another podcast. Just if we podcast. if we do it, yeah, I'll just be ready that night to cancel everything. No, I'm not saying what we do it that night. I I'd say like, "Hey, let's do it tomorrow." But no, like, what if he said, "Let's do it right now"? Oh, yeah, okay, well, said, then, yeah, 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 I'd then, be ready. Yeah, we like, have I'm to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what night is, what is, night is that? It's May seventeenth. It's a Friday. May seventeenth, and it's highly unlikely it would ever happen. And I know that, but you you miss every shot Never that you don't take. No, 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 no. He's a guy, just a guy. Yeah, I feel like if if there was any celebrity that would do something like that, it'd be him. Sure. But the thing is, is all the pieces got to fall into place. He's got to have yeah. some kind of meet and greet. Yeah. He's got to come out to see his fans. Mm-hmm. And what? I got to probably stand in line. It's how I felt when Keen shared my thing and then I asked him if we could open for them. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Uh, of course I did. Did they respond? No. <laughs> but yeah. still, but hey, they were like, we shared your thing and got you 30,000 views. Get, get the hell out of here. Get the- <laughs> yeah. But you tried. You tried. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah. You know? like, worst case the I, scenario is they say no. There's a 99.99999% chance I'm just going to get rejected. Yeah. But I'm going to do it anyways. Right. And see what happens. Oh, I planned this it. out for like six months. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I so thought in my head. I'm gonna I played so it through my head. Like, what am I going to do when he says no? I'm just going to be like, all right, I'm going to get like two drinks in me so I'm feeling comfortable. I'll just walk up to Bert and be like, hey, bud, you're hilarious. You know what would be great is if you come on our podcast that nobody listens to. Yeah. Because then somebody will listen to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of somebody will listen to it. Oh, man. Do you guys want you, you to hear uh, two idiots talk to Bert? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great, right? Yeah, I feel it's like awesome. Yeah, it would be, it would be awesome, but highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Also, be great. You know what? Miracles happen. Miracles happen. We beat the Soviets in ice hockey in 1980 mm. at the Olympics. So nice. Yeah, when's the last time we did that? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't follow ice hockey because oh, it man. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, come on it's now. It's better than baseball. Come that. on now. Sure, There's a thriving ice hockey community yeah, out ice there. Ice hockey's great. Dude, it's great. It's fantastic. It's, it's like soccer, like, but you get to beat the hell out of each soccer other. Soccer sucks, too. Yeah. What? No, just because uh, the you whole suck world at soccer doesn't with mean you. soccer sucks. I never even wanted to try playing soccer. Because if we were all hanging out and someone said, hey, you want to play soccer? I'd be like, uh, no. <laughs> but I'll play it if that's what everybody else is doing. <laughs> that's how you get picked last. I don't care. I don't care. I'll just be the guy that just runs up to the ball every once in a while, kicks it, and be like, hey, I'm participating. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I kicked it in the right dr- direction, but nah, hey. It's, it's a fun game when you're playing it. I think, I I think it. watching it is difficult because the defenses are so good. On, on what? The Hockey professional level, soccer, soccer, soccer. both. Okay. Because oh, yeah. the, the games are, are low scoring. The reason why we think those two sports are uninteresting is because it's a lot of points when somebody scores five points. Mm. In a oh, yeah. game, and like hockey. last night, there that's was a lot of the points. Boston Bruins beat yeah. the Florida Panthers six to one, and that's like is that's that a hockey? shutout. Yeah, that's a shutout in hockey. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that's like crazy. It's, I mean, it's not a shutout, but it's like it's embarrassing. Six to one. It's Holy like because yeah, if you're if you're a then that's like yeah, that's, there ain't no yeah. comeback from that. There's no comeback. My goalie is in trouble. Mm. That's usually when you're mm. on your second goalie by then. Mm. Man, I'm just as interested in this as I am about watching hockey. <laughs> Which is not at all. <laughs> it's so fun though to watch. You don't like what you, the, no, fact that you, the fact okay, that you like okay. violence and like all that type of stuff, and you don't like hockey. Like, dude, there's so. Did you see the video about? of the two? You like fighting and violence? And yeah, every, the, every dude, every dude does. Uh, mm, but are you I'm, saying that you don't like a I good action it. film? I lo- right. I'm not saying not all me. Right. I'm just saying you can't he, say. He's every saying dude. it's surprising that you don't like hockey because of its. Well, yeah, you have to watch 30 seconds of dudes holding sticks, hitting a puck, and then you get. I mean, 30 minutes of dudes with sticks holding, you know, hitting well, a puck, and then you get 30 like, minutes of this, and then you get like five seconds of fists. You know, <laughs> I don't okay. want to sit through all that to get to the five seconds <laughs> of fists. Oh, man, it's worth it though, <laughs> especially there was. Um, uh, did you see the thing that Cody sent us? But it was. The two hockey teams, right as they drop the puck, both of the teams drop their sticks and gloves and just start fighting each other. And huh. the refs couldn't break any of it up. Huh. It was, Interesting. And it happened like this season. Yeah, I'll watch that on social media in like a 60-second short. It was great. That's that, that, those are the things that like make hockey great. Is but that also, good for the sport, though? I mean, it I, was I, more of a. Uh, I think it's good for the. <laughs> good for the viewership. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, good yeah. for the viewership. I couldn't tell you what teams it was, though. <laughs> yeah. I just remember it being awesome. <laughs> Literally, it's like NASCAR. Like, okay, if if you're not a fan of hockey and you go watch a hockey game in person, uh-huh. 
the, the first thought you have is like, I hope someone gets in a fight. Yeah. Just like if you go watch a NASCAR race, your first thought's going to be like, I hope there's a crash. Oh, my God. I mean, that's so dangerous. But yeah, you're right. But that's I, exactly what everyone's I don't wondering. have... Hope there's a crash. Right. If, <laughs> if, okay, if you're they're gonna go really fast and turn left a lot. <laughs> I have What's zero. What's the best part? Well, zero desire ever <laughs> to watch NASCAR. <laughs> ah, I'm NASCAR interested. is not a sport. <laughs> oh, dude, if you had to sit there and turn left all day, you'd think it was a sport. <laughs> I'm sure I would. My, at two, my arm at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> at 200 miles, uh, however fast they go. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like I, I, driving an oval. <laughs> Just does not sound fun. Now F one, that's a sport. That is freaking skill. Oh, you know that the F one tracks now they have like Mario Kart zones where it's like zing, you get boosts and stuff. What? No shit. Yeah, like they they have the to to make it more interesting. There are the cars are governed except for in certain spots, and you can like go over areas that make your car faster. So it encourages. What? So they you have to, like those little booster. They have things? zippers. Yeah, zippers? from Donkey Kong like, like, Racing. Like yeah, a, whatever they are called, like yeah. a little walking thing. That's they have all sorts of like different things to jazz it up and you know to make I mean? it more interesting. A yeah. boosting area. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the thing in the airport where you you can walk faster. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's like they have those in the yeah, races now, pretty it. much. But it, it, it's it's it has nice. To do with the I cars. like that. Yeah. It probably causes more crashes. It's, it, I think it's probably <laughs> yeah, it's probably to make it more interesting that way. But F one is like it's a, it's a cool sport, and there's like it's this documentary on Netflix about it. That's yeah, like it's on great. F one guys. My dad likes NASCAR, and we were doing DraftKings against each other because he I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. But uh, do you know what DraftKings is? Where you like Wait, build you can, a lineup? You can build a lineup on NASCAR. Okay. On NASCAR, and you yeah. play against each other. Makes okay. zero sense. So we do you we, drive we, the car actually, or is it just kind of like a? No, you don't. It's like it's, all, it's like based off real racers. Or oh, it's basically like, like fantasy football, it's fantasy like football, fantasy but it's for cars. Football. Yeah. Okay. And so I can't. It's like Disney cars. Okay. I feel like Anyways, that. I beat him this last week, and I yeah. was I was I said something like. My racers beat you, and he's like, "Jared, don't call them racers. They're drivers. <laughs> They're drivers." <laughs> 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 like, racers. I don't, I don't know. Still, it might have been the other way around. I can't remember which one's right. But <laughs> well, one time I was dating this chick back in like 2012. It was about the time I graduated from college, and her dad was a big Cowboys fan, like OSU, and oh, uh, okay, that's and they were playing uh, somebody else. I don't know, but I, he, he was taking it really seriously, and I came over to. <laughs> <laughs> to hang out with him. The guy's name was Monty. <laughs> and I was like, Monty, I just like their little outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I, go orange. <laughs> and he, orange like, and he got so upset. <laughs> He's He's like, I just like their costumes. <laughs> I, I like orange so much better than red. <laughs> go orange, go orange. Go. <laughs> and he was like, Look at like he like turned to Hank Hill. You know, he was like, God damn it. God damn it. Get out of here. On, get the fuck. <laughs> he was like all upset. And he's like, Whoa. who is this guy? It's like my girlfriend's dad at the time. Uh, so you didn't make a clearly impression. not the boyfriend anymore. I thought I was so funny back then. I wasn't that funny. But he didn't, to me, he didn't find it very humorous. No, he and didn't. the relationship didn't work out. It did well. Actually, I don't want to talk too much about it. But, <laughs> but he never it, it didn't to work that. out, and he knew that it wasn't my fault. Oh, and okay. I remember him calling me after it ended and being like. You know, you said that one dumb thing that one time, but I yeah. kind of liked you. And it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I, mean, I thought you were uh, on the other side of the fence. And he's like, he good. basically was like, I know she has some things to work out. And I was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next card say? Uh, that last one said, I would sacrifice one person in this group to save the rest. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. You'd sacrifice one, one of us to okay, save the rest Okay, we're all going to die or one of us goes as tribute? Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I'd, maybe I'd choose myself. I don't know. Wait, I already have my hand raised. I'm going to choose myself. Oh, he's a hero over here. I guess it depends on yeah. who I'm with. <laughs> on if I'd sacrifice <laughs> myself or one of you guys. So, you so, more, so, you so you're going to sacrifice <laughs> yourself if you're with me. I mean, let me check out the I mean, with Donnie, here. but if you're with me, you're going right. to let with, me sacrifice with myself. The, <laughs> yeah. It, would, okay, so how would we make this decision? Normally, like, I look at the value... like. It's not that humans have unequal or equal value. It's mm. that like you guys have the responsibility of children and I don't. So it's mm. kind of like Donnie, Donnie, yeah. we have kids to feed. <laughs> All right, Donnie, you're gonna I think stab you, man. Uh, uh, no, no, I think it's your. <laughs> think you gotta take this one for the team. We we got bigger teams than you. You know, that's kind of uh, like 
I, it's like, uh, do you want our kids to be fatherless? Is that what you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, all right, guys, fine, I'll kill myself. It's great. I'll see you later. Donnie, how do you feel about my kids growing up without a dad? Huh? Yeah. Is that what you, oh, we is that what you want? Oh, watch out. Yeah. Uh, Donnie is our tribute. <laughs> is our tribute. <laughs> I hope that YouTube does not flag this as a S word. Is it? Are you about to say something you might not? No, 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 no. I'm talking about that oh, conversation we just had. I see. Oh, no. It'll be fine. YouTube okay, barely good. pays attention to us because oh, everybody no, else don't give a shit attention. about us. Like, <laughs> yeah. Not dangerous. We gotta wait no. until we grow up a little bit in yeah. in uh, in viewers, yeah. and then they'll start caring. But for now, we can say whatever we want. That's true. Like, is it okay to pee in the shower? Always. I always pee in the shower. I always pee in your guys' showers when I'm at your house. I don't think you shower at my house very often. No, 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 no. no. I just urinate into your shower. Oh, you just show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shower's open. <laughs> 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 oh, I need some running water while I what pee. What you? Okay, okay, because you can clearly tell if somebody's peeing in a toilet or something else. But <laughs> your buddy's like, "Dude, I gotta take a monster piss. Go pee like a racehorse." And then you hear him, and he's like, he's in the bathroom, and then it's just you hear like the extremely long fall to the shower. And then you, <laughs> the you can tell it's in the shower. <laughs> Are you peeing in the shower? <laughs> Are you taking a pee in my shower? Like, yeah, it's Stop all doing that. that. It all goes down the What's same drain. Same, ends up in the same spot, dude. What's your problem? <laughs> it does. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> my God, have you guys heard of this thing called the waffle stomp? <laughs> the waffle stomp? What? Yes. This chick gets out on the internet. It says, I'm going to do a waffle stomp. You know what that is. <laughs> and everyone who she's listening to is like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Waffle stomp. Waffle stomp? Doing no. a waffle stomp in the shower? What are you talking about? Oh, she's like, it's, a thing it's you where you shower. take a shit in the shower and you no! step on it down the. the, the it's awful. No, I know. It's, it's disgusting. terrible. It's like, don't There's you guys do that? Like, like, no, your poo nobody, into the shower drain? Nobody does a waffle stomp. <laughs> no. That's ridiculous. No. Nobody does. <laughs> the fact that you have to step on it to get it through the drain. She must have named that herself. She like, to make it seem like terrible. other people would do that. It's not that. a thing. It's people not don't a waffle stomp. Waffle stomp. <laughs> That's just a huge Why is thing. it a waffle? It's because of the because drain. The, because the drain is that are like, I can a waffle Stomp the <laughs> she did it, and she was like, "That looks like a wall." Yeah. No, no. I'm what happened was she tried stuff. to push it down in the drain, and then it got stuck on her foot, and she pulled it off like this, and was like, "Man, that looks like a waffle." <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> like, oh my ego. You ever done the waffle like, oh, stomp? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> well, yes, I pee in the shower all the time. It's just you know, peeing in the shower. I, you know, it, like, it is what it is. Sometimes I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to, to say that I, I will. I will pee in the shower, but I think it depends on whose shower. And it's not something that I'm like, I'm saving it for the shower. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just like a mental thing. If you hang out around a sink and, and the water's running, your brain all of a sudden tells you, hey, I think you got to pee. So if you're in the shower and the water's running all over you. I've peed in your sink before. You're bu- you've peed in my sink? Yeah. There's what? a national song that's like. Why'd you pee in my sink? Not in your current house. Not in, my, in my apartment, my old apartment? Uh, no. The you're one pretty short. Did you have to like. No. How'd you get it up? Uh, tall enough. I don't. I don't need you to. Stand I, I on top actual, of the. I, that's where my kickstand is. But <laughs> I just it up there. I'm trying to just walk. That's where my growth spurt went. I'm, fi- I'm trying to figure out the scenario. So you peed in my sink. Not. Uh, it was the uh, one. Was there was somebody it? in the bathroom? Uh, I think so. It was the one where you lived with uh, Jake and Cody, the uh, old duplex. Oh, that's fair game. That sure. sink. That sink. Uh, Back yeah, in the house is gross anyway. Yeah, so uh, I think it was wild, one of those. It was one of those rough mornings times. after uh, after being out and. I was like, I really oh have to pee, God. and I think it was Ridiculous honestly it was stuff. so cold because I was like, because I I usually if, if it's nice and warm I'll go pee outside. It doesn't matter. Like I'll pee yeah. outside. That is something that I adore, and I don't pee understand outside? when you own a place and you're like, this is my land. I would rather pee outside in my pee spot in the backyard yeah. than yeah. anywhere yeah. else. Yes, mm. I don't know why that is, dude. I don't, when but I have, like I'm like there is a like yes. when I'm out in the backyard, I got my fence. It's my place. <laughs> I nobody, own this land. Yeah, this is my land. You're marking it like I, I do, definitely yeah. am like I'm gonna pee right behind my shed or like you know like <laughs> yeah. wherever it is, you know whatever. But like, take the dog out. The dog's peeing. You're like, you know, it sounds like a good idea. I, I do it all the time. You know, me I'm and, not me and the dog, I love my dog know? out, and I'll be like at night, like it's like taking her out to go to the bathroom before bedtime, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just go out there. Me I'm too, like, buddy. Right, me too. I stand on the edge of my That's patio. What we're doing. 
Especially at night, because I don't have a covered patio, but my new house, I will. So I'm looking forward to it, because I can just stand out there and pee. It's on the patio and just Dude. create a, create a little rainbow. I don't <laughs> spread it off of it. I don't spread it. I don't go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dumb story. I, sorry again. Internet. Oh, I'm so pretty sorry, much dumb internet. stories. We're talking this, about pee and poop. Okay, I know. Yeah, it's just more more just defecation stories. <laughs> One time I was uh, in Fiji, oh. and we were out on the back of a church that was half constructed. Okay, and it was off the side of a mountain. So like there were all these giant piers. Hold like when I say giant piers, I mean like. Like probably fifty feet tall, yeah. holding up half of the church, and it was built into the side of the mountain, and That's it was cool. coming out in these piers. But there were all sorts of other piers and unconstructed parts, like wide open, and it would just rain into this jungle. It was beautiful, and there was just half of this giant open area in the back that wasn't being used. And there were these piers and this place to stand, and so we were in between uh, services yep. out there. And me and the, there was only two other dudes on my team, and the rest were all girls. There's 13 people, and 10 of them were girls, and three of them were boys. So it's me and the two boys. We were hanging out. Yeah, guys. I think we got to pee off of this. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we got to yeah. pee off of this. It was in the middle of the night. Yeah. And we're like, it would pee, and it goes down like like long, 75 long. feet. Cause okay. It's like, it's it's just down it's it's like to... mountain. And so we just peed off into the abyss into a beautiful... Like serene. What a view, man! It was crazy. What if somebody was down there and was like, "Is it raining?" <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, God damn it! This rain is no, weird. No clouds. <laughs> it was a jungle. I don't. I don't know. But it was Why like this. Why do I smell vinegar? I like trips. Like I had been on some strange trips that did things. Like like one time I got to snorkel and I had no idea. It was in. It was in Bali. Mm. I was in Bali randomly. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I got mm. to do some amazing things. My bad. Music <laughs> is cool. So, but anyways, That's I'm okay. snorkeling, travel, and it's called Bali. Yeah, yeah. And we're snorkeling, and I just had no, I had no framework for where I was. I was just like on a trip doing my job. Yeah. And they're like, no, we're gonna go snorkeling, and I had no idea. We get down there, and as soon as I get down there, I'm literally on the set of Finding Nemo. Really? But yeah, like as soon as I go underwater, it was like, holy, sh- Dory. This- Dory? Nemo, the Nemo? turtle guy. <laughs> You're yeah, all like, here. They're all here. Like it was <laughs> literally. Is this that, Nemo three? Yeah, it or was. It Nemo was 3? really wild. Like, like I found Nemo. Anyways, serenely pissing in places like that is crazy. You're like you got to pee somewhere when you're out yep. there. Oh, Anyways, yeah, I've, I've peed in every body of water. I've I was in like an in like an Indiana Jones style temple. That's pretty eating cool. the cool. hottest food I'd ever eaten in my life. Like yeah. spice wise. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, and it was just like. All these weird things happening on a trip, but then that shit has to come back out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You eat the hottest thing you've ever eaten in your life. It's not going to be fun Your later. butthole's like, you're like, ah, I don't even have toilet paper in this country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I did this to you, but Yeah, and they're like, oh, no, you use the bucket of water to clean your ass with. And I'm like, uh, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, everybody uses one hand. This is your shit hand. This is your clean yeah. hand. There's yeah. a bucket of water. Like, go have fun <laughs> getting this shit off your hand and off your asshole. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> It was great. Fun. It is a bidet. Is it great. was a bidet country, though. So in the nicer spots, they shot you in the ass with the, the bidet. with the water. Yeah, which is why now I have a bidet in my house. That's great, dude. There's nothing like it. No nope. bidets are I'm fantastic. still not a bidet, bro. Yet you got to try it. It doesn't make you gay. It doesn't. Um, in a relationship, do you like being called daddy, or is it weird? Ooh. Uh, in a sexual way, like daddy. Yeah, like that. My wife does not call me daddy. Do you think you'd like it? No. What about you, Donnie? What's up, daddy? Okay, you know, okay. <laughs> I can see daddy. a scenario <laughs> where I'm literally a dad. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already a dad. You know, and it's like, go tell daddy. Like, whatever, go ask dad. And, like, that's, like, all the time happening. Mm-hmm. And then we're taking it to pound town trying to make a brother or whatever. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, daddy. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I daddy. am the daddy. <laughs> but if you hit me with that daddy shit before I'm a dad, I'm like, that's not me. Hope not. <laughs> I don't know if I like that very much. I don't want to be your daddy. <laughs> I don't, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I hope not. Yeah, I don't think I'd like it either. Just even me saying it out loud. I didn't like doing that. <laughs> I don't even call, I never called What's my her? dad daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it implies. The daddy thing implies that you are the provider for this other person. Mm-hmm. So, like, this person that you're 
Making sweet love too. So if like your so wife, my wife's my daddy. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. So if your wife ben, makes more case, money than yeah. you, yeah, Ben has ben, to call her call, daddy. Do you yeah. call your wife? Go. What's up, daddy? <laughs> hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I just got the house clean for you, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the dishes are done, daddy. <laughs> oh God, it's. Yeah, how twisted would it be if he called her mommy? <laughs> Mommy. It's so Freudian. No, I, can't, I can't ever get out that of That would head kill is... my boner immediately. <laughs> Flaccid. Oh, Mommy. No, no, Mommy. I think of, oh, think of uh, oh, the too far. Uh, Family Guy episode where Stewie's no, like, Mommy. Thank you. Mommy. Mommy. No, thank Mama. You. Mama. Mama. When she's uh-uh. like, What? Mm-mm. I love you. And then he runs away. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. All right. I just came across a really great card. Uh oh. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done when you were drunk? Oh. I don't get drunk, but when I'm a little tipsy. Oh, let's see if I I don't I I will think if I remember a story that somebody told me cuz I probably don't remember. I can't actually remember any of mine either. And that's probably because we were all drunk whenever it happened, you know. I'll tell you mm-hmm. that whenever the last time I was like the most hammered was at a birthday party that was getting thrown for me at Mixco. How long ago was that? It was beautiful. It was probably seven years ago, six years okay. ago. And everybody in my life almost showed up to that. And everyone was buying me drinks. Ah, makes sense. It's yeah, and they were Mixco drinks. So they were like, high, like nice, nice, you know, cocktail place. And uh, I don't remember doing anything particularly embarrassing, but... Uh, did you say something embarrassing? No, no, no. I loved everybody. Mm. I love you. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. I love yeah, you. Like that level. Yeah. That I was, level. I'm, I'm yeah. not a, I don't get angry. I get like really sentimental and happy. That's, that, that's how it is for me too. Yeah. If I get a little buzz, I'm just like yeah. letting it all out. Yeah. I love but you. It's all positive. Yeah. Oh God, I love you so much. Um, but, uh, nope. <laughs> there are some like ben photographs. Ben walls. Yep. There's oh, some shit. photographs. Of me with somebody who got so canceled so hard from that party. Really? <laughs> like full on blast canceled. Like somebody that went to your party Tulsa. yeah, and got canceled. You know this person. Oh, okay. I see. Oh. Yeah. He was at this party. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Oh. He yeah. Was. Ombre got the most canceled. Yeah. And uh I and those pictures are just out there. And I'm always wondering, like I'm not. My, I don't wonder about this much anymore because it's really not that big a deal. But someday will that become a social problem for me? No, because this person just showed up because it was the most cool party to be at at the time, and it was an open invitation. Oh yeah, nah, so, I don't worry about that. No, but no, you know it's what I mean? never gonna come yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it could. Yeah. But it's one of whoever things. gets upset about that. Screw them. That's, that's, that's oh, I absolutely feel that way too. But. Say, like, that's the type of person that is trying to find that stuff. Yeah. And because they're miserable and they're like, I need to make somebody else miserable. That's that's the only time somebody I definitely that. had uh what you would call Oh, what do they call this? Uh damn it. I'm losing my words. Openness fatigue, or what do they call it? Like yep. overshare fatigue when we started doing this podcast because yep. I thought like, oh man, I kept on wondering what people would think and whether or not it was a good idea to share. So Something. much. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't care because it's like you 30 people that are out here watching. And then the people that comment hilariously on the <laughs> yeah. on the shorts that like y- you have time to comment on. Our podcast? I know. It's just it, you, we're just being I'm glad real. they're commenting. Like, Thank you for commenting and yeah. subscribing. But and whether people want to accept it or not. Yeah. They make they say stupid things just like we do. Yeah, they just don't do it in front of. They just don't do it in front of a camera and put it yeah. on the internet. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we're at the point. Uh, like, what's where what? Anything we do or say is like, well, the people that love me love me, and the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. I can't be the mm-hmm. only person in the world that control your own that emotions. Says words wrong all the time. Mm-hmm. But uh, what what motivates you guys to like whenever you're on the internet mm-hmm. and you see a piece of content. Are you more likely to comment if they say something that you don't like, or are you more likely to comment if you like really like something? I'm to, I'm likely to comment okay. whenever I'm an expert at something. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, it doesn't happen on uh, YouTube hardly ever because I don't watch. Do you even you- take the time to like hit the like button, or are you usually just like 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm just. I don't really very much either. I mean, I, I, um, I do it whenever I want to control my algorithm. Mm. Right. Yeah. Like, I want to see some more of this. Boom. Like. Yeah. But that's only whenever I'm curating my algorithm. See, here's the thing. I, I want to tilt this into another topic. Sure. I think TikTok is really bad. Okay. For reasons, and this is the reason why. Kids who are on TikTok, TikTok is not a algorithm that allows you to control it much. Mm-hmm. It's going to send you things based on what it sees you already enjoying. Mm-hmm. So, like, my higher-brained mind does not want to see tits and ass on my on my social media feeds mm-hmm. because I, I, I want to curate my sexual experiences. I want to yeah. stay away from hyper-sexualized content. I want to be... You know, just into my person, right? So I'm, avo- I I can more easily do that on an app like Instagram, Instagram, because or they Facebook. they have the option of, of like yeah. not interested, yeah, yeah not yeah, interested. Yeah, not I'm interested. Out that, that button doesn't Don't, exist yeah, on yeah. TikTok because I've looked for it. Yeah. I've looked it, for TikTok it. TikTok will not let you do that. TikTok watches what you do, and so naturally, I'm a dude, and if something highly interesting sexually shows up on my screen. Or anything other than that. Any yeah. other kind of content. Any other content that TikTok just thinks because I'm a 35-year-old male I'll like, yeah. Yeah. they're going to hit me with it. Yeah. I won't get on the app. I don't have it because I have it for the band, but I've never uploaded it. It's been like probably a year since I've uploaded something to it. It's That is wrong. The kids these days who encounter TikTok and think that they don't have control over their curated feeds, they don't have that ability but us, we grew up with completely controllable feeds. Mm-hmm. The first thing, whenever we first got Facebook, was like it was a timeline that was exactly in the order in which the things were posted. Right. Yeah. So it was chronological. Yeah. So we would post something and it would just be we posted it at 3 p.m. And that's when most people are on. So most people saw it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that rule no longer applies. Now it completely has to do with tricking the algorithm to f- force your stuff up front. We're not doing that. In, you know, like. We came from a world where we could control what our feeds were, mm-hmm. and we still act like that. Oh yeah, this is bullshit. I'm not gonna look at that. You know? Yep. Yeah. The kids, uh-uh. they're just getting fed whatever bullshit yeah. that shows up on the stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, anyways, that's a, that's a point that I wanted to bring up and talk about. You have children. Mm-hmm. What's an appropriate relationship to these new algorithmic? Hyper attention grabbing short form content applications. I I won't want my kids on TikTok until they are like eighteen. Yeah, that, that would be my preference. Yeah. I don't know if I can like control, control it to that, that point. Right. But like, I mean, not only can you can they not control what they're seeing because mm-hmm. on TikTok at least because they don't have like the not interested button, mm-hmm. but also it opens them up to like predators. Yeah, mm-hmm. depending on like the con, even if they're not, they're just making innocent content, they're they're opening a small door where it could mm-hmm. get put them in a questionable scenario. Yeah. So, do you have an active plan for how you're going to police? I'm just I don't. Me and my wife, we are both thinking we're not going to give our kids smartphones for as long mm-hmm. as we can. Yeah. Right. So, I mean the the only the only benefit I can see of it right now. Is I'll be able to track them, and I want to be able to track them. But you can already Apple tag them. Yeah, you can Apple tag them, yeah, but I mean, put like, put them in their shoes. You, yeah, you can put it in their shoes. But whenever they're like Apple 12, tags, literally say you're not supposed to do this. Right. But I'm gonna do it. I mean, <laughs> whenever they're twelve the and thirteen, kids, I don't yeah. know if an Apple tag is gonna work or what. I mean, like maybe yeah. I can put it in their backpack and that'll be fine. But I'd have yeah. to like get them some kind of cool jewelry that I can yeah. put yeah, it on. Be like, it, hey, will you wear this? Yeah, I'll wear this. I'd rather give my kid an Apple Watch over. An iPhone. Sure, maybe. If it, can they? Can you? I've never owned one. Can you do social media on that? Like watch no. TikTok and stuff no. on that? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't have those apps on here. I literally use. Well, this you also for, have the the parental. You can lock down yeah. parentally a smartphone and turn it into a dumb phone. Well, that's the thing. Oh, yeah. With the oh, yeah you stuff. Can't, and that's the thing with Owen. Like I like a ten year old, and he like he won't have a phone probably until he's sixteen and driving like we were. Like mm-hmm. that's basically me and his mom both have that agreement. Like. And he understands that he doesn't need it, but also like he, like he doesn't sit at home and watch YouTube in my house. Like it's either he's watching cartoons, doing constructive stuff outside, or he's playing video games like Fortnite, which 
at, for the longest time, I thought it was just like a fighting and killing game. Like, let's just battle until the last person's alive. But, dude, that thing is, there's so much detail to it where I was able to go in and, like, click the age range of the type of the age of the kids that play he plays with. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, any kid that he chats to online isn't the over the age of 12. Oh, wow, cool. Which is, like, I didn't know that until, like, Nick told me about that stuff. He's like, yeah, Fortnite has all this stuff. And so I like downloaded it, researched it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, dude, we wouldn't have been able to play this game if we were kids because our parents won't let us. But like, <laughs> that's where I was like with Owen, like he, he understands that like there's certain games he can and cannot play and they're locked. And if, which some of them are locked, which I don't understand, but yeah, it's, it's really cool how that's able to do that with technology now. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm. Do you guys, you know, remember, I guess in like the nineties, early two thousands, like, people didn't have as much of a filter. You know what I mean? Like, you could say certain things and people wouldn't care. I think right? we were I think we were at a spot where mm. shock humor was finally at the forefront in the way that, like, we are literally going to, like, jackass. Right. Like, Trigger Happy TV, particularly. I thought that was so funny. The oh, Man yeah. Show. Yeah. Like, um, shock humor. Spike TV yeah. in general. The Man Show. Wasn't that Jimmy Kimmel? I think that was Jimmy it was Kimmel. Jimmy and somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Adam Carolla, right? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, like Love Line. I remember Love Line was like a big deal. It, it's Anyways, all the shows we watched uh, yeah. at late at night when it's our parents went to bed. But we, we literally reached a, yes. a, like a, a like a like a pinnacle of like okay, we've literally seen everything. There's no <laughs> shitty weird thing that could ever be shown to me that I haven't right already seen, and that like yeah. that includes like. In pop culture, we had things like I mean, I didn't see this until like way later in my life, but like, like the two girls, one cup thing, like, oh my like, God. like things just got so crazy. I wish yeah. I like we had reached that. peak stupidity, like dumb yeah, stuff. To people see. are eating what? What are those? A Tide pods. Tide yeah, pods. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of like, recent, actually. That's what I'm saying. Like that's how crazy we've gotten. But, but like, but my but point is, it. my point is, there's no, there's no, we, we, there's no final frontier of stupid comedy. We've already done it all. Right. right. Seriously. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. early 2000s, there's lots of shock humor where people would say ridiculous things. People would be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you said that," but then everything would be fine. Yeah. But nowadays, you can't do that. But you know, if you'd ever like a blast of the past. On where people just say the most ridiculous things, mm -hmm. you just play online video games. Yep. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> there is no yeah. filter. Zero filters. Man. People are just the, they bring out the worst of themselves when you go on to online video games. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Absolutely everything. Yeah. Because there, there, there's no accountability. No. There's yeah. nothing can happen to you. Right. You can say whatever. And there's it's, no face. It's literally, just yeah, a yeah. Voice. literally the worst thing you can get happened to is banned from <laughs> the video <laughs> games. Yeah. But you can. And then you just make a new account and go exactly. right back to it. Yeah. It's awful. That's but, funny. That was just my point. Is it's crazy how the world has changed. Well, everybody's got way more for the sensitive. better or worse, whatever. That's what I think. Oh well, yeah, and our generation grew up around that. Like, my God, dude! Like, remember when there's some like funny all the Adam shit Sandler that... movies, the Eddie Murphy movies, and like, dude, like I remember when like any Adam Sandler movie came out, or even when Super Troopers came out when I was like 16. Mm -hmm. It was like, like. My, me and my older brother had to go see it in the middle of the day so we didn't have to let our parents know, mm, like uh -huh. at the time. Because Jesse was like, let's go see this movie in the middle of the day. I got in a car accident that day. It wasn't my fault. But you've been in a lot of car accidents. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Only five? Five. Ten? Five. But five. only the first one was my fault. All the other four were not. Mm. There, there comes a point whenever. But I actually haven't you been. You have in to a realize that uh, if you keep on being in these bad scenarios, you're the common denominator. <laughs> well, it hasn't happened in like 10 plus years. So. <laughs> just just yeah. No, uh, but no, yeah, those movies like that, like that used to come out like super troopers. Like even then, like dude, like I remember when that came out and that was like pushing barriers and people were like, Oh my gosh. And it was so funny to where like now, like if that came out now, it would just be like, uh, okay, that's funny. Yeah. It's like, uh, what's the other one with Ben Stiller, Tropic Thunder. Like if it came oh, out yeah. now, oh my! It would gosh. never be made now. It would, it would it never would, be made. No, it you know. would not. I'm be, surprised like, that uh, Robert Downey Robert Jr. Jr. hasn't been like accused of. You mean canceled for it? But yeah, canceled because for it's, because it's, it's Robert satire. Downey Jr. And everybody loves Robert Downey Jr. Dude, yeah. he's Iron Man, and it's because he because of all the crap that he went through, and like he already did his time in jail. He already did that. So, dude, he could basically do anything in film, uh, and mm -hmm. everybody would like him. Also, I think I think it's all starting to swing. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? People are starting to get over hypersensitive, get offended by everything type well, of people. Well, it's because people aren't giving the time of day anymore. They're like, oh, I'm not getting Oddly the attention. Oddly enough, it actually moved the line 
back. Yeah. Like like Absolutely. we like when we were kids in a real ass movie theater, you could go see a guy put a Hot Wheel car in a condom, lube it up, and stick it up his ass and go <laughs> oh get an X ray. Yep. Yep. That yep. was in a movie at the movie theaters yep. when we were teenagers. When we were teenagers, teenagers. and like. We've already done it. We've, We've got, seen it. We, we know that it's a we thing. Watched I a saw guy's, the same guy put peanut butter on his ball sack and let a buzzard. Oh my oh god! Oh yeah, a vulture. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. The vulture bit the or whatever that was. Is I can't, when uh, Bam Margera got sardines or whatever branded off his balls. by a a brand shaped like a penis yeah. on his butt on his yeah. right butt. Oh cheek. really? Yeah. But he never moved, saw that one. He moved. He moved the first time, so it got, got him it, twice. It got him twice, and on the third S- time, so he has like a doo doo the third one. He's got like so a three. he's got like a gradient of <laughs> yeah, dicks yes, on his butt. Yeah, a gradient of dicks on his butt. Like it's literally oh it get branded. Like I like that is seared in my brain because of that. Like stuff like that. I is that never... Steve-O the one that did that? No, it was, it was Bam. It, it was Bam. They did it to Bam. Maybe Bam did it to Steve-O or Steve-O did it to Bam. One of two. Oh, I don't it was know. Like Either way. Oh, we God. have seen it. And so the kids these days, <laughs> like, they pushed the boundary back so they could, so they could do it again. Well, <laughs> I, I swear it's going to happen. Yeah, it's like they, 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 they made everything taboo again, which is fine. I get it. Nobody should be branding dicks on their asses and letting, <laughs> <laughs> letting buzzards eat sardines off your balls and <laughs> take, getting beer. x-rays with Hot Wheel cars up your ass. Like These things shouldn't happen. No, <laughs> and they're gonna do them again. <laughs> they are. They're gonna. They didn't they're learn the first like, time. This guy. Our society learned nothing. We we backed it up because they were like, "Hey, we gotta have some sort of rules." <laughs> so they're like, "The new rules are, you can't be, you know, you can't." So be they overcorrected, and we started you pulling. You can't it back be on again. drugs and drunk while you do it. <laughs> you have to be sober. <laughs> I don't know, but there's new rules, and those new rules. People don't like them, and they will push back against those new rules, yeah. just like we pushed back against the old rules, which was don't put a Hot Wheel car in your ass <laughs> and <laughs> let buzzards eat normal stuff not on your balls. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, I, I could, to this day, I could still watch a Jackass movie from start to finish and be laughing my butt off the entire I, time. I, you know, out of that time, there were things that were so funny to me that weren't just shock humor something mm-hmm. like i still tell people about the trigger happy tv bit with the hunter oh the he's hunter. like have you seen any ducks around here <laughs> oh, yeah. and then There's the guy like a in a duck, duck seat like runs by man i can't find any like of that, that stuff even on youtube the trigger oh, happy and stuff so funny, like like my favorite man. my favorite one yeah. i mean i liked the bunnies that would oh that would, that would, <laughs> that would, that would do it everywhere. make love everywhere two in the public two, two people in oh. costumes just yeah just go to the mattress bunnies, store. just doing it everywhere. Yeah, yes, <laughs> that's other, right. Oh my god! It was god. in New York City. The Serta mattress <laughs> yeah. on the second level, and the bunnies are like, <laughs> 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 yeah, and everyone's like, what, what is going on? And the, and the bunnies like just the, getting it. And like the sad it's penguin. It's new advertisement. Yeah. I can't find those clips anywhere. Oh my gosh! But yeah, sad penguin was pretty funny to me, but <laughs> but it was just, it was most definitely gosh. the hunter and the duck that I thought it was just, and it wasn't sexual. It was just this hilarious thing. Yep. This guy with like full on hunting regalia and a gun and everything, and he was asking people like, "Hey, have you seen any ducks around here?" <laughs> and just a guy, yeah, and a guy a duck in a duck suit, just, just like <laughs> running through the park. And he's like, "Oh, there he is!" <laughs> you know? uh, I remember when you introduced me to Happy Tree Friends. Oh yeah, that was part of it. Yeah, yep. all that animation the, the, had gone the all the way. The animation of just like I still won't watch Happy Tree Friends, man. That's <laughs> did you not watch it back in the back? You in thought the day? they were so funny to me, it and then the eye was like, dude, I'll stick with Homestar Runner, man. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't need That's to so see Happy Tree Friends. Yeah, so that was like the beginning of the internet. Yeah, Homestar oh, Runner. I loved Homestar Runner. Gosh, dude, I forgot about that. Oh that was gosh. when the internet was there. It was just. The Wild West. In, what was it Super Bad? Way. Was that his name? Strong Bad. Strong, Strong Bad. bad. Yeah. Strong Bad. Strong Bad. Super Bad was that other movie that yeah. came out. That, yeah. like that was that was best. The, one of the best movies that ever came out. Super when Bad. We were, Super Bad. When we were, I don't know. I think it was. I, it was. It was culturally what was happening. Yeah. So it was, like, what I'm saying like for when yeah. like our time, it was one of the be- like best comedies. It's it, one of my top. Comedies. I liked it a lot. Yeah. You I love it. Uh, I thought I thought it was funny, especially the waistband bit where he's like, "Just flip it up and put it in your waistband." <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> my I, I was like, but it was it was peak shock humor. That's my yeah. point. Is yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was like there was so many there was so many good movies back then, not just comedy, but like, movies were good. I think 
that was that was the the era of peak of comedy movies. Well, it was before all the superhero movies came out in two thousand eight. Yeah, started and all. then Pineapple Express. You guys remember that one? Yeah, I. Uh, it was it that one. Uh, it was there was funny parts to it, but you had to see it at a certain extent. I don't know. I just it was mm. I had to be a little high to watch it yeah. to enjoy it. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it was a high. movie about pot. Yeah, and it was about it was around the time where. We were all indulging. Indulging. Um, you, you texting uh, your girlfriend over there, Don? I, yeah, I am. No, it's, I. We have plans after uh, this, so I just had to tell her when to leave. Another show that uh, me and Donnie used to watch when I got a TV when I was fifteen. I got my first TV. It was a nineteen-inch bulb TV, so it was like forty hundred pounds. I remember this being big. Yeah, nineteen was, inches. Whoa, nineteen inches. It was, like this. It was wow. this big. It was huge. I got it when I was fifteen. And I remember we only have to sit three feet away from it. <laughs> that got um, one of our cable channels, and it happened to be Adult Swim. And it was when we started watching South Park. And me and Donnie, I would bring our landline. We would. I would bring our landline into my bedroom, and we'd call each other at eleven o'clock, and, and we'd watch, watch South, Park, South together. Park together, together over the phone, over the yeah. phone. And, yeah, that was the and, thing. I remember doing yeah, that. And yeah, do, and then we come out the next day, especially after Terrence and Philip episode. Oh god, and we would I just do Canadians, all the, the Canadian <laughs> fart jokes. <It's> like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like well, just, just the, how funny it is that they just dunked on Canadians yeah. like relentlessly. I remember being a kid, show. and yeah. we had like multiple phones in the house. Yeah. And I thought it'd be fun every once in a while when my mom was like on the phone mm -hmm. to go grab the other phone mm -hmm. and listen. Did it all the time. And, and like idea. make weird noises every once in a while. And oh, just you made weird noises? Just like, <laughs> 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 and just, just you. see the move. Did you, what was, did you hear that? <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you hear that child say, Man, I, I see did dead people? so much spying on my parents. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a decent but amount. It, but it was so boring to me. Like, I, That's I, would on, I would like pick up the phone. That was, you had to do it a special way. You had to stick your finger on, on the, the thing. button. Yeah, on the button. And then, and then pick then up the off, receiver. And then yeah. slowly let it go. Yeah, yeah. and then make no <laughs> noise. Well, that's the thing. We had that one. Did, uh, we had that one. We had also had a rotary one that was on the wall. Yeah, that was from like because it was in man. I remember that cord being so long, like it literally yeah. like wound up and like. Oh, touched yeah, that the was floor. the thing. And wireless phones for the house came out. Do you remember you had to put them back on there, or they would die? They had yes. they were on the charger. They, the wireless phone for the house came out in our like we were probably ten. Before yeah. they got popular, remember I remember when when your and so we everyone did have these long cords yeah for the I phone. Re I remember when the answering machine and phone were one, and that was like a thing to have in your house. Oh, and mm -hmm. everyone you'd see the little red blinking light. Yeah. It means like oh somebody tried to call me. Yeah, you go listen to the message. It wasn't, it yeah. wasn't two separate machines. It was we like, had a family was... friend who would call and sing opera into the phone. Oh really? Oh and the, so we were always like, I hope Tor left us another opera message. <laughs> that was like the That's highlight awesome. of the Fear end of the day. Of yes, the yes, yes, she's singing again. <laughs> Listen, there was one time, Ben, uh, that I was messing around with my home with uh, my phone at home, and I was just typing seven random numbers. And just seeing what I would get. Oh, that's so funny. I would yeah. do it. I would do it. Uh, you know, every once in a while, mm -hmm. and I did it. Just random seven numbers. Yeah. And your mom answered the phone. No way. And I was in shock you because I just typed in seven number. random numbers. My mom? And I, and your, and I, probably. I got, I, no, no, no. But you probably I started with your the four, house. You started with randomly four, five, by one. The random numbers he, was he the, the he, last four. He, he probably, no, no. I, I just typed seven numbers in. I mean, and you probably mom, started 918 because if it was random, I bet you. No, we didn't have nine digits. You didn't have to do, right. you didn't have to do nine numbers. I just did seven random numbers and your mom answered. Wow. And she goes, hello. And I go, and you know. I remember when they added the nine. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I got I got a I type Sorry. in these seven random numbers and your yeah. mom answers the phone. Yeah. And, and I go, Chris? Yeah. And she's like, Yeah. I go, Oh my God. Like I'm in shock. Yeah. But on the other side of the line, she's like, Why is Jared in shock that he just called Ben? Yeah. 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 But on the other side, I like randomly type numbers and magically I got your house. Yeah. I just remember hearing the tone of her voice being like, Why? This is so weird. Jared just like in shock yeah, that yeah. he called my house. Gosh. And I couldn't explain it to her, but like it, it it's it's burned into my brain. Oh, because what is the luck of that, you know? Doing the bullshit of the three way call and not yeah. telling the person that you had another person on the line. Yeah, we used to do that. The we Hunter. used to do that all the time. <laughs> Hunter, yeah. Hunter and Hunter introduced. We'd be me like, to "Hey, Jasmine, this is this is just Donnie. Do you like 
Zach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Zach yeah. was definitely on the line. Yeah. I remember doing that. Oh, we used to do all sorts of espionage. <laughs> do you like blah, blah, blah? Yeah, yeah. Nah, dude. It's no. Like, or like of course it, not. Of course not. He's too ugly for me. Exactly. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> He didn't. He Is didn't that cry today. It's like crying, cry crying over the phone. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. No, it's I still feel young, but it's kind of crazy that at this point we're like back in our day. Remember landlines? Oh, dude, well, and there was full such a, screen TVs. What's weird is no, dude. Star Wars: Phantom Menace is twenty five years old. That is crazy. I went and saw it yesterday. Or two days yeah, ago. Star Wars dated. I watched Phantom Menace in the theater. Years old. Yeah. And Brad Pitt just turned sixty recently. Holy crap! Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Sixty-year-old man, Brad Pitt. Yeah, Hopefully he's okay. Ah, oh, dude, Fight Club. It seems fine. Favorite movie. One of my favorites. What did you think about Phantom Menace? I loved it. Yeah, I remember so, yeah. seeing it as a kid and loving it. But then you know we were pretty close, and you would no, no, no. I loved Phantom Menace. This is Attack of the Clones, is what you remember. Oh, okay, because right. we were. I was ten when Phantom Menace came out, and I loved it. Do you remember all like the Pepsi and Dude. the Chick Fil A? I'm sorry, yeah, the the KFCs C- yes. and like the Taco Bell and all the cool Happy Meal toys remember and like the cans? everything. I had all the just, different yeah. Jedi's and yeah. There was just so much Phantom Menace merch everywhere for like it seemed like forever. It was great, dude. Like it literally was. Like, I still remember I had a light blue shirt with a Darth Vader on it, and Darth Vader had, like, a lightsaber, and he was, like, slicing. That was, yeah. like, on my shirt. And we literally showed up to the theater the night before. Like, it was, like, the midnight showing. Yeah. And, like, still had school the next day, but, like, my dad worked at the school. I, my dad was a PE teacher, so mm-hmm. it was, like, an athletic director. So I was, like, wait, we're just going to go when we go. Mm-hmm. But we went and stood there. Three hours early, got into the theater an hour and a half before the movie started, sat in your seat, mm-hmm. and then everybody had lightsaber duels in the front. Oh, how fun. <laughs> and it was so much fun, dude. Man. Like, just random people up there, lightsaber P- duels. Star Wars fans were so ready for that. And I I remember uh, my brother downloading on his, like, it was like Windows, not XP. Whatever was before XP. It wasn't Millennium Edition. It was like the one before it. Windows whatever. ABC. Yeah, whatever Whatever was before Windows XP. One. 98. It was 98. Oh, 98. He had a 98, Windows 98 computer with a tiny screen. I remember it was like this big. And he had downloaded like a 250p, whatever. You know, like yep. the tiniest file of the trailer <laughs> oh. of new Star Wars. And seeing the, like, it was, it was, what's funny to me at the time is that they were fighting out on the field, you know, Jar Jar and all the yep. all the Gungans were fighting the robots, mm-hmm. and it looked like the Windows background. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> they're fighting on the Windows background, <laughs> you know, and like uh, the tanks were shooting the, the giant bubble shield, and like yeah, it was just so not what I just like not expected this to be what Star Wars was going to be like, and um, but I was so excited. So jazzed. Yeah, I, was, I was jacked. Having watched the movie again as an adult two days ago or three days ago, yeah. I, uh, you know how I remember it being, everyone was always making fun of George Lucas for being like, it's uh, it's like poetry, it rhymes. You know, you know <laughs> what I'm like saying? Poetry, that? It rhymes. Well, I actually started to see it for the first time. I, like, oh, wait, this mm-hmm. is actually trying to set us up like New Hope did in. And I have really enjoyed it in a new way. I don't. I still stick by it. Attack of the Clones is ass. It's a terrible, terrible Star Wars. I thought movie. it had some of the cool Star Wars action scenes of all the movies. Yeah, so, so but I, 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 I don't know. I couldn't get past Hayden like Christensen's the arena scene. Lack of game. Oh, with I just, Natalie I just Portman. rewatched uh, uh, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith before I went and saw Phantom Menace. And you're correct. There's. The, like, the, like we talked about earlier, the story it has, it has like a good story, like or a basic story to it. Sure, but the yeah. fighting scene, the fighting st- some stories, of the best. Of it was all when we the saw Star Yoda Wars with movies. a lightsaber and everyone. Oh, was but the arena, all the Jedi's fighting at the same time in this yeah. arena, and like, yeah. and the Jedi's dying and the bad guys dying, and, and then, then all Mace this Windu lopping Jango Fett's head off. Yeah, it was awesome. It's so, so many cool. Things like in seeing, that, just see, in that scene, I, I, I look up that chopped scene chopped off by yeah. a lightsaber. As a kid, and whenever the green guy awesome. that smiled all the time died, it was sad. That's why. Oh, you hated it. mean Plo Koon with the tentacles. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, Plo Koon was the orange guy. No, Plo Koon. He blew up. Plo Koon. He like dodged Plo Koon, a couple yes. bullets. Plo Kit Koon. Fisto is the green guy Kit with Fisto. the smiles. I'm sorry, you're right. Plo Koon is the I one know. who uh, was in the Star Jedi Starfighter that got yeah, blown up. He got up. blown up. Yeah. yeah. He's the one who and recruited. And he was in the Ahsoka. Jedi Council. Yes, he recruited oh, Ahsoka. Dude, okay. So on the screen, watching Phantom Menace as an adult three days ago, I noticed there's this Jedi Knight who was in the Council, and he's got the longest neck ever, and he was like. It's a Camino. It's a Camino. <laughs> no, he's not. He was something else. No, it is. Yeah, he's in the council. I know. Whatever, it yeah. Is. It's and I just saw him on the background doing this shit. <laughs> and I was like, Mandy. It's, lo- it's the long night Look white guy, guy, right? He just. He's can just... you imagine talking to a guy and he was like, what's up, Jared? What's up? You know what you're doing all right? What, uh, what do you got going on got today? got a long ass neck. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, going Can't nice? this guy just sit still? I hope that guy doesn't get in an actual lightsaber fight. It'd be really yeah, easy just to be like, well, zip, <laughs> beat him. Got him. He's dead. <laughs> he's, just, he's like dodging all but your stuff. Not enough was said about that guy. I need to know everything about why his neck's so long. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> no. For sure some reason, some Star this Wars is lore. reminding me of Kirby's. Do you guys remember Kirby's? Did you guys collect Kirby's? 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 Kirby's. You know, like the little Kirby toys. No. What are they? Oh, fur- Furbies. Furbies. I was like, Kirby is, I played a is hell Kirby's. Of a lot of no, no, not Kirby's. For you. Furbies. There's me getting the word wrong again. Yeah, I'm yeah, do that yeah. Furbies. I love Correct Furbies. Him, internet. Yeah. We Correct always were, they do, were cussing time. at our Furbies, seeing if you'd say it back. Say it back. Say, say it back, bitch. Like Kirby's. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, <laughs> Kirby. Like uh, one that sucks your powers from Kirby. you? <laughs> no, no, Furbies. I know, but he was talking about Kirby's. Yeah. I almost said it wrong again. Furbies, but, uh, little demonic fur babies. They would, the, like the FBI wouldn't let them in <laughs> because they're like, we think the Furbies are recording things. Yeah, <laughs> we think they're learning. <laughs> really? Is that a real thing? Ah, we can look it's, it up. It's, like, yeah, the, yeah, it's like, like the whole like, like uh, cameras just, yeah, in the bear type know. thing. It's like yeah. they were the new, uh, yeah, new thing. Wow. Take it out. We should find that out. Should do Furbies? Did, I, need, I need to get going. Are Furbies okay. real? We, we, can, we can wrap it up. I've got yeah. to pee. I've had to pee for the last like 10 minutes, and I've just been shaking my legs. I've seen that. <laughs> just like, just hold it back, body. Let's hold it back. Let's see here. Did Furbies, did Furbies record things? I think they and did. Watch a video pop up of your mom and your dad. <laughs> <laughs> did Furbies record you? <laughs> did Let's they? Let's see. Roger Shifton, the owner of Tiger Electronics, stated Furby has absolutely no ability to do any recording whatsoever. Ah. According to that one guy. According to that part of the internet. Furby. <laughs> According to that, the other part of the internet says yes. <laughs> the guy who owns Tiger says that Furby does not record anything. <laughs> but the, uh, the guy Was your Furby owns- spying on you? In actuality, Furbies couldn't learn or record anything. Then why was my Furby telling me I was so gay? <laughs> <laughs> that was just your dad. That was your dad in the other room. How you, you are? How you doing, Furby? Wait. You're so gay. You're gay. <laughs> gay. You're gay. gay. <laughs> Come on, stop it, Furby. It's, it's okay gay. to be gay. <laughs> you gay. And that's where we'll end it. We'll see you next week. <laughs> you are canceled. <laughs>